She was dog walker. She didn't own the dog. Correct. Dog got away from her, and according to you, attacked you, attacked your dog, and you want to be compensated to the tune of $10,000. Correct. You were neither hospitalized, correct? I was not hospitalized. You were, not, you were neither hospitalized, and your dog was not hospitalized. Correct. And you were a dog walker. How long had you been in charge of walking this dog? Um, at that point, it was about a week. What kind of dog was it? Um, I believe it was a boxer mix. Not 100% sure. How old? Two, three years old, give or take. Do you remember the owner's names? Yes. And it would be fair to say that you knew their names because you tried to sue them. I contacted them, yes, but did not sue them. Just my own information, Mr. Kwan, do you want to tell me why you did that? Yeah, so per California strict liability law, the anybody who takes physical ownership or responsibility for a dog is also responsible for any sort of attacks or damages it causes while they are uh, responsible for that dog. Regardless okay, just of a second. So what you're saying is in the state of California, if you are walking a dog, and she says she was walking this dog for a week, how many times a day every day? Uh, two times a day. Twice a day. And she had this job for a week that under all circumstances, she is responsible for any injury that the dog does. Is that what you're saying? Correct. Would you bring it's, it up? The court. It's California Civil Code 3342. You have, do you have it? I could pull it up. I have my notes. Could you do, could you pull it up for me? Mm -hmm. And I'll come back to you in a second, Sarah. She was walking this dog off leash. Correct. So you saw the dog off leash. Yes. Okay. And, and about how far were you from her when you saw the dog off leash? Across the street, so roughly 40 feet. Okay, and? The dog charged across the street. Okay, the dog ran across the street. Yes, and started aggressively biting, uh, lunging, and barking at my dog. Okay, so at that point, the dog has ran across the street and is in an aggressive stance barking at your dog. Correct. Hadn't touched your dog. Correct. What happened next? It then diverted its attention towards my infant son in a stroller and my mother and started jumping on the stroller. Did the dog, in fact, jump on the stroller? Yes. And the dog jumped on the stroller? Yes. Didn't hurt your son, didn't hurt your mother? Yes. So let me understand this. You pick up your dog, your mother is standing behind you in the stroller with your son. You leave your mother, your son, on one side of the street and you grab your wiener dog mix and run across the street. Correct. This was after I got the attention of the dog, by the way. <laughs> okay. So now you got the attention of the dog. Yes. Ran across the street, so you were trying to divert the dog's attention and yes. the dog followed you. Yes, it chased me. Good. Situation. She was. She ran across the street, because mm -hmm. all this happened within seconds. Yes. She ran across the street. Was she saying anything she to the was, dog? She was yelling, I'm so sorry, and I can't do anything. OK, is that what you were yelling? Um, I, re I think I was yelling, I'm so sorry, I don't know what to do, because I was in an extreme state of panic. I was probably having a panic okay, attack. OK, I'm so sorry, I don't yeah. know what to do. OK, and? <laughs> and after I ran across the street, when the dog chased me, I fell down. The dog ended up biting me on my left arm. OK, and I'd like to see whatever medical report you have from the bite on your left arm. So you didn't go to the doctor. I the question did. is, did you go to the doctor, Mr. I did Korn? a virtual doctor's Just visit, because this was during the height of the pandemic. And what was the name of the doctor with whom you had a virtual visit? I do not remember. Should remember. You're suing for $10,000. You should have all that information. Because if you have a virtual medical visit, Mr. Kwan, there is a record of that. Doctor keeps a record of that. Do you understand? Correct. Now I'll see your photograph, sir. I have that statute whenever you're ready. I got it. Time is everything. So the knee injury is when you fell. Correct. And the arm is a combination scratch and maybe tooth mark. Yes, there are tooth marks on there, but not punctures. Well, I don't know. This long thing is not a tooth mark. You say the dog's a pit bull. The dog was a pit bull? I believe so. Dog a pit bull? Um, I asked after the incident. I did ask as well if it was a pit bull. They said, no, it's a boxer mix. OK. I'm going to allow you to tell me what the owner said in the conversation that they had with you. I'm not accepting it for the truth of the statement, only that you had a conversation with them, which is why you brought this action against Ms. Lancaster today. Correct. So they decided 
we're not going to put this in writing. We're going to call Mr. Kwan. Correct. And what did they tell you? What they said to me was that they would look into their homeowner's insurance policy in order to compensate me. Through a series of conversations, I decided that my grievance was not towards them because they were not exhibiting negligence in this situation. Oh, no, I don't believe that, Mr. Kwan. Be very careful about what you say to me, sir. As between homeowners who have insurance and this young woman who has to walk dogs for a living, if I was somebody interested in $17,000, I wouldn't sue her. That answer that you just gave me was a whole lot of, who shot John? The reason you decided not to proceed against the dog's owners is what? The, the reason why I proceeded not to go against the dog's owners is because I have a, um, because some things are more important than money. And in this situation, I have more of an issue with the dog walker and her behavior during the situation rather than being compensated. Well, let me suggest this to you, Mr. Kwan. There is no question that if Miss Lancaster was walking this dog and the dog was off leash, she was negligent. There's also no question in my mind that the extent of your damages is excessive very excessive. So I'm not getting all of this kumbaya business that the person responsible, do you understand? Yeah, I'm totally just not understand. buying it, Mr. Kwan. We understand each other? Yes, absolutely. Okay. For somebody who has no medical, you had injuries and you have to be compensated. You had no good excuse for walking the dog off leash. I wasn't walking him off leash. Um, the ha when I was in the house happened, I had a key on the other side of the door. When I reached for that key, he scooted as hard as I could between my legs and got out. It wasn't that I was walking him and just decided to take him so off the leash. So you were negligent in letting the dog out? Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. Yes. But the dog had also been out for an hour at the time yes. of the incident. Yeah. How long were you out with the dog? probably around an hour at that point. Okay. I was trying to get him back in, and twice okay. I did have him okay. by the collar, and he did wasn't he was, having it. You didn't have him by the collar when he ran across the street? No, but before then, I did. I don't did. care what okay. happened before then. Okay. Before then, I was 21 years old, and I looked great in a bikini. Now, not so much. You can see my mother and infant so son playing. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Call the person out. He bit me. I know I will because he bit me too. I know. Just grab him by the neck. I can't. He bit me twice on my hand already. I don't know what to do. It's been an hour. I seriously don't know what to do. He bit me twice already. And I tried to get him on the leash and he bit me twice. I don't know what to do. It's I am so sorry. I am so sorry. So although the statute uses the word owner, there's vicarious liability if someone else assumed responsibility of the dog, even though the statute is clear, it only lists the word owner. But in California, they could be held liable through vicarious liability, a walker. A walker. That assumed responsibility okay. for the animal. Okay. It does appear to me that you were sort of overwhelmed by this dog. Yes. But very much the bottom so. line is that Mr. Kwan was injured and frightened, not seriously injured, but seriously enough that if it were me, I would be furious as a result of your negligence. And he neither suffered serious physical injury, certainly not serious enough for him not to go to work for a week. And you had no medical bills because you didn't see a doctor, but you were attacked. And I actually don't know why you didn't sue the owners of this dog, which looks scarcely like any boxer I've ever seen. And it is possible in California that certain dogs are not insurable. I don't know the answer to that question. So it will not insure you in a homeowner's policy if you have a certain kind of dog. And would it be a fair statement, sir, that their homeowners either covered their dog or didn't? They were looking into it, and they had renter's insurance that I believe um, covered it that you believe covered it. Oh, very foolish of you not to go against them. Okay. So I was trying twice. to have him follow me, which is what the owners told me to do. I had treats in my So you called the hand. owners? Yes, I did call and the owners. You said to, you called the owners yes. and you told the owners what was going on. Yes, I did. They knew what was going on. Ah, I would have sued the owners. Mr. Kwan, I would have absolutely sued the owners unless they didn't have insurance that covered the dog, which is a problem for them if they had renter's insurance. In any event, Ms. Lancaster, you assumed responsibility of this dog, and based upon your own negligence, your negligence, forget about the dog's breed, forget about the, these other people, 
as a result of your negligence, he was injured, and you have to compensate him for that. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $5,000. We're finished.